Patricia Versace also standing by, and the concern for health care provision is palpable as anticipated budget cuts threaten the country's already fragile and understaffed public health care system. Well, today the finance minister is expected to indicate how the government of national unity plans to control debt and grow the economy when he delivers this policy statement in Parliament this afternoon. So, Patricia Fasahi, um, health care, obviously, this is the big question mark, and one wondering what's going to be announced about it and how it can be affected through some of these announcements. Patricia, good morning to you. Give us uh, your perspective from where you are. Well, good morning. Certainly, um, as uh, community members and perhaps the country at large wait with uh, bated breath to hear exactly what uh, type of budget will the finance uh, minister table this afternoon, they also zoom in on their immediate needs. And one of that goes to the heart of service delivery. And of course, health care, quality health care is one of the priority, uh, priority points for many community members. Just yesterday, we were in the very same area where the Gauteng health uh, department uh, with uh, their officials of course led by uh, the uh, portfolio committee in the Gauteng legislature came uh, to table um, their annual report uh, that uh, of course reflecting on the state of uh, health care services in particular the facilities in the provinces uh, in the province the uh, hospitals the state of uh, the clinics and uh, uh, what exactly the performance has been for the past financial year. They also reflected on the budget that was tabled, how much money was spent, and of course uh, also reflecting on the underspenditure. And uh, this has of course left a lot of uh, community members who were part of this particular engagement yesterday, uh, fuming, um, you know, as uh, uh, the department reflected uh, that they had a budget of about 62 billion uh, rand. 98% of that budget was utilized, but unfortunately, there was an under expenditure of over a billion rand. Many community members saying that uh, this is concerning, taking into consideration that uh, there are glaring um, challenges at uh, many of the uh, country's uh, public health uh, care facilities in Gauteng in particular, as you would know that uh, it is one of the uh, 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 provinces with uh, high volumes of people, you know, overpopulated, a lot of influx uh, happening, ultimately putting a lot of pressure on um, the health facilities in the province. Um, also having um, many of your academic uh, hospitals like Steve Biko and, and, and so forth. Um, so you've got those issues um, that are taking place. So I just want to bring in a community member just to quickly reflect on exactly how she uh, responds to in particular the under expenditure um, i'm speaking to koke zomadiani just in short you heard yesterday the uh, the portfolio committee talking about that over billion rand that they didn't spend yes i did and it didn't go down well with me this is because we have raised so many challenges and for the department to say they have not even utilized over a billion is really concerning you look at just behind us the state of the clinic and this is not an isolated case. You go around, look at our clinics, you look at um, st the understaffing, you look at the issue of security, issues of medication, where our patients sit, like just behind us, there is no shelter. You saw them when you came in the morning, they were queuing outside. They had to wait until the gate has been opened. So for them to say they have um, underspend it is really a concern. They should have come to us saying we have gone beyond budget, we need even more. And now with the MEC saying she has to go back to National Treasury and request more. The question is what is she requesting more for? Because she did not spend what was given in the initial stage. All right, thank you so much. And, and that, of course, uh, goes to what the MEC told us yesterday, that she has uh, put in a request for extra funds. But as you hear uh, from the community activists here saying that it does not make sense, money was not spent yet, more money is uh, requested when there are so many challenges at uh, the province's health facilities and so many other issues that plague uh, the communities uh, directly linked to, of course, the state of health care in the province. Right, thanks very much, Patricia. Let's now cross into Nompumulelo Siziba. The Cape Town winds continue to dishevel us, but we continue nonetheless. We do hope that it's the storm.
before the calm of the midterm budget, which we're expected to hear from 2 p.m. from Finance Minister Enoch Godongwana. One of the things he's expected to focus on is the issue of infrastructure. We need catalysts to ensure that we get the economy growing. So there's going to be a lot of focus likely on infrastructure and private public partnerships to ensure that that happens. Because as we know, government doesn't have enough money. Uh, there seems to be improved sentiment. And if you have improved sentiment among business players, they're more likely to put their money where their mouth is and invest. So of course, the tone of the midterm budget will be very important in terms of how that uh, speaks to business confidence. That's one area. Uh, governor, uh, the Reserve Bank Governor, Lusitia Khanyako, has been talking a lot lately, hinting a lot about the possibility of reducing uh, the interest, the inflation target band uh, to around 3%. And uh, maybe the National Treasury will be speaking to that as well because they have also produced documents that speak to this very issue, that this is being in discussion. And the reason for this is that it's felt that we'll be more competitive as South Africa if our inflation is generally at a lower level relative to our trading partners. So that's another area that he may speak to. Of course, social factions are speaking about more money and of course the issue of a, a universal basic income grant. Maybe he'll speak to that as our former speaker, our previous speaker Johannes Corsa was saying, maybe the government doesn't feel that it has sufficient resources to be able to cover that but maybe he'll refer to it, given that there's so much attention on this particular issue. You know, with the, the budget, you have only a finite number of resources, so many trillions of rands, about 2.7 trillion uh, rand that the government has to play with, and they have to allocate it in the most optimal way as possible. So these are some of the issues. We are stationed here, not the most glorious site, but we're not that far away from Parliament. Later on, as more traffic comes, we'll be seeing more going on but for now we are stationed here and we will be speaking to analysts about what their view as, uh, is around uh, their expectation of the midterm budget.